Well, this is 25 bucks I'm never getting back. What is up, boomers, zoomers, and Martians, also called lunars? Um, today, I am going to be uh, doing my full review of Tempesto, which is located at Bush Gardens, Williamsburg, in Williamsburg, Virginia. So in this review, I will pretty much be walking you guys through the whole um, experience from when you enter the park um, to when you get off of the ride. So let's get into it. So first, you enter the park. Um, once you enter, you're actually going to um, kind of go through the uh, kind of England-themed section. Um, go under, there's like a little overpass thing. Um, I don't even know what it is. Um, but you're going to go <laughs> under that and you're going to turn to the left. You will pass um, the ride Pompeii, which is a water ride, uh, which I do definitely recommend. Um, but that's this isn't a review for that. This is a review for Tempesto. Um, you will keep walking past that, go over a couple bridges, um, and finally um, veer off to the left where you will pass one final bridge and the future site of Pantheon, um, and come to Apollo's Chariot. And now you'll be thinking, man, I should probably ride this and not Tempesto because Tempesto isn't very good. So you ride Apollo's Chariot a whole bunch of times. <laughs> Um, and then you get out of the exit of um, Apollo's Chariot, and you go to the left, which is where you will find um, the far less superior um, Tempesto. So, um, once you get to Tempesto, the first thing that you're going to notice is that, um, first, it's blocking any sort of pictures that you're going to get from, um, of Apollo's Chariot, and second, um, it also has a pretty ugly sign, um, actually, not even an ugly sign, it's just not very themed. Um, the sign is actually kind of pretty, it's just not themed, like, at all. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, it's, it's just not the best. Um, I wish that there was more theming, but it's not really anything that they can do too much. I guess, no, that's, that's false. They can definitely put more theming into the coaster. Please put more theming. What I'm trying to say is it doesn't really, like, hinder the ride experience at all because um, you're going to be too busy um, screaming and also getting hurt by the uh, comfort callers then you are going to be focused on um, the lack of theming. So you go under the sign um, and kind of go through switchbacks which will most likely be empty um, and you will arrive in the station. This is where you will get some theming, and when I say theming, I mean a TV, which is going to be playing a little, like, how to ride video, which has Tempesto himself showing you how to ride. Wow, it's insane, right? It's, like, the most insane thing ever. So much theming. All the theming. A lot of theming. So, uh, you will board the train, um, and really it does not matter that much where you sit. I like the front row just because you get the best view and there's no really, like, airtime or anything like that on this ride. Um, so it doesn't really matter too much, um, but I like the front row just for the view. Um, anyways, you're going to board your row and you are first going to pull down your lap bar, which is big and bulky. Um, and not the most comfortable, but it's not that bad compared to the comfort collars. So after you pull down your restraint, you are going to, or sorry, pull down your lap bar, you're going to reach back and grab this little flimsy thing over here, um, which is your comfort collar. Um, you're going to pull that over your head and snip it into um, the lap bar. It just kind of connects to the lap bar. Um, and it's not really as like soft as you would think it might be. Um, it is kind of a, it's a flimsy 
restraint, but it is definitely a hard restraint, I would say. Um, so yeah, don't, don't expect it to be any sort of like super soft, cuddly thing. Um, it definitely does still hurt. But anyways, you know, pull that over and lots of people do have trouble with it just because it is, uh, again, very flimsy. Um, so it does kind of take a little bit of work in order to completely get it um, over your head and clipped into the restraint. Um, but once you do that, um, you, you will pretty much be on your way. The, the ride operators will come by and check your restraints um, and then you will start. And this is where the POV comes in. This is actually my POV. It's actually a reverse POV um, of, um, of me on Tempesto. Um, I did like flip the camera around a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on relatively. Um, but anyways, if you do want to see the original POV, I will link it right up there in the corner. Um, that is my original reverse POV because of course I will be slowing down parts of this and speeding up other parts and, you know, cutting back to different things. So you're not really going to get an accurate POV. So if you do want one, then definitely go click up there in the corner. Anyways, let's get into the POV. So you will get the all clear um, and immediately you will be launched forwards. Um, it's not a very forceful launch, kind of just a weak little launch just to get you started. From there you will be launched backwards, which is a little bit um, more forceful, although you do um, put your neck into the uh, comfort collar, which is not very comfortable um, on this little, like, I guess you could say spike there. From there, you're going to launch back forwards. Um, that is where you hit your top speed of 60 miles an hour, and you're going to twist on up to the top. Um, this little transition onto the top is not very comfortable at all. Um, you do definitely like push into the, the restraint so hard that it kind of does hurt. Um, but anyways, then you are going to go into the best element for sure, um, which is this little roll here. Um, it looks really cool as you're going through it, um, as well as beforehand. It just gives an insane amount of hang time, definitely the best element. From there, you're going to twist down and up into a sort of, um, like a half or sorry, a non-inverting loop type of element, um, which is kind of okay um, before you slam back into the station and into the brakes, um, which will stop you. So, um, out of the POV section, this is where we get into the pros and cons section of the video. Starting it off, of course, with the positive things. The first pro is definitely the launches, um, and this is kind of two main things with the launches. First is that there are three of them, um, and they do go forwards and backwards, which is definitely unique. Um, there aren't too many roller coasters out there um, that have multiple launches and also have launches that do go forward and backwards, um, and definitely not very many that have both. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a cool element, definitely unique. Um, and definitely really, really fun, um, especially the, the second launch, which is the backwards launch, as well as the third launch. Um, those uh, two launches are very, very forceful. Um, so you definitely do get pushed back into your seat or forward on the backwards launch. Um, so yeah, that's, that's cool. I like the launches. The second pro is definitely the um, roll. Um, you get an insane amount of hang time on that. Um, and I can't really do like a general like thing on here, like saying, oh, there's a lot of hang time just because this is the only hang time moment. Um, so you do definitely get a whole bunch of hang time on that roll as well as it just looks cool and it's intimidating. Um, overall, they just did a lot um, of good things with the layout on here. I know it's a clone, um, but like it's it's a good clone. Like it's it's a good clone. It's, it's a good clone. This Tempesto isn't very good. 
The next pro actually kind of depends on when you go. I actually really liked the ride operators that were there when I went. Um, they were kind of making jokes and um, they did like surprise launches and overall it was definitely really awesome. Um, plus, of course, like all rides at Busch Gardens, um, as long as you have a little card, um, you can take your GoPro and other cameras um, onto the ride. Um, so, of course, you do have to go to guest services and they will check the camera, make sure it's all secure and everything, um, and then you will and then you will get a little card. Um, but of course, they do allow you to bring the rides on there. So it's not really specific to Tempesto, but it is definitely a pro. Now getting into the cons, um, and you know that it's not great when the cons are pretty much the same um, number of cons, I guess, as the pros. Um, so first um, is definitely the theming, um, or I guess lack thereof. There is a little bit of theming, um, just kind of some paintings and stuff on the outside of the building. Um, but other than that, there's pretty much no theming at all. Um, no, like, super prominent theming, which I wasn't really expecting going in. Um, so that's why it's not really something that really hinders the ride. Um, but it is definitely a con, just that there is pretty much no theming. The second con is for sure the restraints. Um, the comfort collars are not comfortable at all, um, and definitely that will be a downfall of West Coast Racers when it opens because from what I understand, they will have comfort collars. Um, so overall, just comfort collars are not very comfortable. Um, they are super flimsy and weird to just put on in the first place. Um, and then also you really hit your neck um, on some of those little like moments where you're going to be kind of sideways for a little bit of time. Um, you do definitely hit your neck on the restraints, especially after the backwards launch. Um, you are kind of leaned up against the restraint and that is definitely not comfortable. So overall the restraints are definitely um, a con. The next con um, is just the weird transitions. Um, there are a lot of weird transitions. First, um, after you spiral up, there is a super sharp transition going and leveling out at the top. Um, that is a super weird transition. You slam up into the restraints and it's not like a cool ejector thing. It just hurts. Um, so that's definitely a con. Um, and then also the weird, there's a weird transition that goes into the, um, the uh, non-inverting loop which I'm not really including on either because I'm kind of neutral about it. It doesn't bother me, um, but it's not great. Um, but anyways, there is a weird transition going into that. Um, so overall, the transitions just aren't very good. And that is it for the pros and cons. Um, anything that I did not mention, definitely comment it down below. Um, like, hey, you didn't mention this. What, what are your feelings about this? Um, but normally, if I did not mention it, then that usually means that I'm kind of neutral about it, like the non-inverting loop, um, like the, um, like the fact that it's a clone, I don't really care, um, like just kind of stuff like that. Um, but anyways, getting into the rankings. So in the park, Tempesto ranks six. Um, that might seem low to you, some of you guys, um, but let me tell you why. Um, so for sure, Apollo's Chariot, Griffin, and Alpengeist all definitely, definitely, definitely do rank above Tempesto. Um, the reason why I say that Verbolton as well as in, um, Invader also rank above it is just because I had more fun on both of those um, than I did on Tempesto. I rode Tempesto twice, um, and the only reason why I did is because the first time I rode it, I did not have the little key card thingy. Um, not the key card, like the little camera card. Um, that's what it's called, the little camera card thing. Um, so I couldn't record a POV. So I went back and uh, recorded a reverse POV. And that's pretty much the only reason why I did ride it um, more than once. Um, and yeah, overall, it's just an okay ride. It's definitely more of a supporter coaster um, than anything that people would go out and be like, oh wow, it has like 
um, Bush Gardens has Tempesto. I'm going to go out and ride it. Um, it's definitely not like a star attraction. Um, it's an okay coaster. I'm going to use that a lot. Um, it's definitely just an okay coaster. In terms of um, launched coasters, I would give it a solid seven. Um, I, I say that because it definitely does have some good launches, um, especially like I said, the second and third launch definitely are decently forceful, um, and it is cool that it goes backwards. Um, but the reason why it's not getting anything higher is just because the rest of the layout isn't very good. Of course, you do get a lot of hang time on that roll, um, but other than that, the rest of the layout either is bad or is just kind of eh. Um, so that's why it's not, it's not like a bad ride, so I'm not giving it any lower than a five. Um, and it's like, it's an okay ride, so I'm gonna give it a over like a five or a six, but it's just not great. And then overall, I'm actually going to give it a little bit of a lower score, just barely, barely, barely a lower score. Um, I am going to give it a six, um, 0.5, I think. Yeah, 6.5. Um, the reason why is just because there are definitely more, like, the reason why it's getting a little bit of a lower score than in the category is just because there are more non-launch coasters than there are launch coasters, um, so it does definitely rank a little bit lower, um, in that list. Um, and overall, it's an okay ride, like I keep saying. Um, it's definitely more of a supporter ride than a star attraction, so I can't give it anything abysmal, and it's, it's still an, it's still a meh ride. Like, I rode it twice, um, and I don't really have any regrets on doing that. Um, so, overall, um, yeah, I think a 6.5 is probably a pretty good spot for it, but still, comment below, um, what you think of that ranking, if you think, like, oh, it should, it should have a way lower number, or, oh, it should have a way higher number, definitely comment below, um, and that's really gonna be it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace. Actually, wait. I have things to shout out. Ah. I, I have things to shout out. Um, so, go check out my um, Bush Gardens Williamsburg vlog up in that corner. Definitely do that. Yeah. Um, so, go check out that. Um, also, go check out um, my just overall my vlogs playlist. Um, actually, no, not my vlogs playlist, my reviews playlist. Um, definitely check out my reviews playlist. I've already done Ghost Rider and Iron Rattler, and I am gearing up to do, um, Intimidator 305, uh, Mr. Freeze as well as Superman Krypton Coaster. So, go check out that up in the corner. I will have many, 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 many reviews, um, up, and that's, I think now that's it. Okay, I will see you guys all next time. Peace. Out, mate.